नॉलेज इलीट्स हेडफोन्स आर रिकमेंडेड फॉर बेटर एक्सपीरियंस अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई नेम इज हिमांशु गोयल एंड वेलकम टू नॉलेज इलीट्स एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई विश यू हैप्पी 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 एंड हैप्पीएस्ट होली मे दिस फेस्टिवल ऑफ कलर्स फिल कलर्स इन योर लाइफ टू एवरी शेड ऑफ यू आई विश अ हैप्पी एंड कलरफुल होली टू ऑल ऑफ यू now uh, we are going to start the video uh, what to study we have studied part 1 and part 2 that is male reproductive structure and female reproductive structure the links of these two videos are uh, attached on the i button above uh, and today we are starting gametogenesis that is part 3 in gametogenesis what is gametogenesis uh, basically it is formation of gametes like Uh, in uh, pr- uh, the primary sex organs of the humans like testes in males and ovaries in females produce gametes that is sperm in spermatogenesis and ovum in oogenesis respectively now uh, these two we have to study these two processes in male and female now first we are starting with spermatogenesis Spermatogenesis start at the age of puberty due to significant increase in secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone GnRH a hypothalamic hormone increased level of hormones act at the anterior pituitary gland and stimulate secretion of two gonadotropin that is luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone that is FSH uh, LH act at Leydig cells and stimulate synthesis and secretion of uh, androgen which stimulates the process of spermatogenesis and similarly fsh is uh, acts on sertoli cells that helps in spermatogenesis in testes uh, immature male germ cells that is spermatogonia produce sperms by the process of spermatogenesis and now we have the diagram of it uh, please follow the diagram uh, accordingly Spermatogonia is diploid and contains 46 chromosomes some of them are called as primary spermatocytes spermatogonia is a single unit of uh, the spermato uh, spermatogonium present on inside wall of seminiferous tubules multiply by meiotic division and increase in number a meiotic reductional division leading to formation of two equal haploid cells called as secondary spermatocytes what is haploid haploid means half the number of the total chromosome in a diploid cell means it is 46 in humans then it is a 23 chromosomes each the secondary spermatocytes undergo a second meiotic division to produce four equal haploid spermatids now the spermatids are transformed into spermatozoa that is sperms by the process of spermiogenesis after spermiogenesis Uh, sperms heads become embedded in the sertoli cells and finally released from the seminiferous tubules by the process called as permeation uh, as you can see in the diagram we have that process of permeation now structure of sperm uh, if you if you are able to see the diagram then please follow the diagram accordingly it is a microscopic structure composed of a head neck middle piece and a tail Uh, a plasma membrane en- envelops the whole body of sperm sperm head contains an elongated haploid nucleus an anterior portion of it's covered with a cap like structure called as acrosome filled with enzyme that help in fertilization the the uh, function of uh, acrosome we will study in the fertilization part of this chapter the middle piece possesses numerous mitochondria which produce energy for the movement of tail essential for motility motility of uh, sperms during fertilization during fertilization the uh, human male ejaculates about 200 to 300 million sperms that is a big amount guys that is a big amount 1 million e- equals to 10 lakh then you can calculate what is the quantity of sperms produced during the ejaculation during coitus uh, for normal fertility at least 60% of sperms should have normal shape and size and at least 40% should uh, show vigorous motility uh, motility and motility is different 
motility this is motility after re release sperms are transported by accessory ducts and secretion of epididymis vas deferens and seminal vesicle and prostate is essential for maturation and mo motility motility of sperms uh, semen constitutes seminal plasma the seminal plasma and sperms the function of accessory ducts and glands are maintained and by the testicular hormone that is called as androgen now that's over we are coming to oogenesis the process of formation of mature female gamete is called as oogenesis oogenesis is initiated during the embryonic development stage uh, you know the embryonic development stage it is in the womb of the mother uh, when a couple of million gametes gamete mother cells or oogonia are formed within each fetal ovary uh, no more oogonia is added after birth that uh, that is the bar uh, these cells start division and, and uh, enter into prophase 1 of meiotic division and gets temporarily arrested at this stage that is called as primary oocyte यहाँ पे बर्थ के टाइम बर्थ पे जो है वो जो स्टेज होती है वो प्रोफेज वन होती है जहाँ पे ये फ्रीज हो जाता है इसके बाद की प्रोसेस हम लोग आगे पढ़ेंगे वो स्टार्ट होती है प्यूबर्टी में ईच प्राइमरी ऊ साइड गेट सराउंडेड बाय अ लेयर कॉल्ड एज ग्रेन्यूलोसा सेल्स दैट आफ्टर आफ्टर सराउंडेड बाय दैट ग्रेन्यूलोसा सेल्स कॉल्ड एज प्राइमरी फॉलिकल अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्राइमरी फॉलिकल डी जनरेट ड्यूरिंग फेज फ्रॉम बर्थ टू प्यूबर्टी देर आफ्टर एट प्यूबर्टी ओनली सिक्सटी थाउजेंड टू एटी थाउजेंड प्राइमरी फॉलिकल्स आर लेफ्ट इन ओवरी द प्राइमरी फॉलिकल गेट सराउंडेड बाय मोर ग्रेन्यूलोसा सेल्स अ न्यू थीका आर कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल द सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल सून ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू टर्शरी फॉलिकल करेक्टराइज बाय फ्लूड फिल्ड कैविटी कॉल्ड एज एंट्रम नाउ प्लीज फॉलो द डायग्राम द थीका लेयर इज ऑर्गेनाइज इन टू इनर थीका लेयर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरना एंड आउटर लेयर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सटरना एट दिस स्टेज प्राइमरी ऊसाइड इन साइड टर्शरी फॉलिकल ग्रोज इन साइज एंड कंप्लीट फर्स्ट म्योटिक डिविजन इट्स एन अन इक्वल डिविजन रिजल्टिंग इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लार्ज हेप्लॉइड सेकेंडरी ऊसाइड एंड टाइमी फर्स्ट पोलर बॉडी secondary oocyte retains bulk of the nutrient rich cytoplasm uh, of primary oocyte the tertiary follicle further changes into mature follicle or called as graphene follicle now uh, this is the final follicle uh, after which the secondary oocyte uh, get released from the graphene follicle Uh, before release secondary oocyte forms a new membrane called as zona pellucida and after that uh, the secondary oocyte is released from the ovary by the process called as ovulation now we are ending this video please like share and subscribe my channel knowledge elites and guys have a knowledgeable day ahead and thanks a lot Bye bye